Hey there, sweet humans. Today, I want to talk to you about something that there is like no right time to talk about, which has me know it's important because I know when I'm avoiding talking about something, it's got some energy in it. And um, I wrote a post about this earlier today, just kind of as a placeholder for the energy of it that I wanted to speak about. And um, I've been feeling a lot of sadness in my heart, recognizing um, how many people have either like quit or given up or lost hope in love. And yeah, it makes me sad to think about that. And I also understand it. I understand how uh, easy it is to be mad or angry <laughs> with love. Um, because of the way we imagine that love hurts us or that we leave ourselves open to being hurt through um, or in the pursuit of love or in the experience of love is a risk, right? It's an inherent risk. And I really want to talk about today what it is to choose to never give up on love, to just consistently be willing to choose love every time no matter what it's kind of a big ask but the reason I want to talk about this today is because I see it as this frequency that life does not feel valuable or nourishing or satisfying or fulfilling without without love things feel empty and you know, great if you have a person or an object or a being or an experience to point your love at or even at yourself. But I am actually talking about the energetic frequency of love, of feeling loving, of looking at things with a loving attitude, of being a loving being. <laughs> And what it is to consistently make the choice to choose that all the time with yourself, with others, with the world around you, with, with everything. And it's something I really aspire to. And the reason I aspire to that is because when I am focused on living from that attitude, from that energy, things just are better. There's, there's no other way to describe that fact that things are just better when I have a loving attitude, when I am acting in loving ways, when I am being generous generous putting the putting the kind of feelings and needs of the people and beings around me not above mine because it's not a hierarchy but as important being in the state where they are as important to me as my own and of course, you would only choose to do that with other humans that you find lovable or feel loving towards. Um, but even ones that you don't want to be close to, what is it to intentionally generate a loving aura? You know, I don't have to interact with a person to be able to um, reach out energetically and see them as lovable in their humanity, even if I don't personally agree with them or personally want to interact with them. So there are layers and levels to this that I think is really important to consider. And then of course, the, the tenderest part is the part where we would want to love another being very closely or intimately. And all of the things that come up for us around bringing someone into our own hearts, because that's what's required. That is what is required, really, to open to love is to bring another into your own heart and to be invited into someone else's heart. And like, what is it to be tender there and caring and gentle and generous 
and require that others are that way with you otherwise they don't get to be that close but here's the kicker here is the <laughs> paradoxical tricky part you have to put down your own defenses first and most of us have like a totally booby trapped heart you know all those things that people said or did times that you were hurt memories that you have etc etc emotional minefields are uh, set up around the heart and it's nobody else's job to disarm your own minefield it is your own oof ouch so i have to be willing to be responsible for disarming myself against love to invite it in to be welcoming to it to exude the frequency of it so that it may meet me imagine i demanded love you must come over here <laughs> and penetrate all my defenses and be willing to be like <laughs> Hurt by my own defensiveness because I want you? No, I must lay down my own sword. I must say to love, hey, love, come over here. I really want you around. And, you know, actually, see that spot over there? There's still a fence there. I haven't pulled down that fence. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. So, but I do want you to come in. So, come in over here where I know there's no fences. And, uh, I promise to take the other fences down like what is it to do that to really be in trust with ourselves mm. I'm always asking these questions of myself and I would love to hear from you what you think about this are you willing to disarm yourself against love and invite love in put down the weapons that you're holding up against love and then what about the, you know, and I really, the, the reason I wanted to do this video today really is because of that frequency I feel where so many people have quit on love, literally just quit. Like it's too hard. There's no one for me. Um, I don't want to get hurt. It saddens me that someone would be in the state where that is stronger than their desire for love because it's just fear, right? So what is it to flip the script on that fear and say, no, I'm willing. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to be wherever I have to be. I'm, I'm willing to change and open and relax myself to be the invitation for love. I'm willing to go after it no matter what. Like, uh, I know for myself anyway, uh, there's a roomy quote I think it's like not our job I'm gonna mess this up but it's something like someone can tell me in the comments what the correct thing is it's not our job to seek for love but seek to to find our own barriers against love and to remove them and that really resonates for me because love is everywhere love is in everything love is like the interconnectedness that we have as beings and to tap into that field of energy requires a letting go of arming against feeling. And you can have that experience on your own. You can have that experience looking at the ocean. I'm looking at the ocean right now. Let me show you. It's just really quite magnificent. You can have that experience dancing to your favorite song walking in the forest at your debt you can have it. it's everywhere it's just always waiting for you to open to it darling did you eat some seaweed and choke my love <laughs> shadow's always eating something at the beach um look you can have it with your pet you can have it with yourself you can have it with other beings and yet there's this way that i think um, a lot of people myself included I, i've let it go now really i think i hope we'll see <laughs> you don't know a barrier is there until you find it right so to me what i see is that um we've become very uptight and conditional about love only like this only like that only from this type of person only from that kind of person only from only 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 constrict constrain contract and love is an expansive frequency 
<laughs> love is this this realm that we connect to through our sensory field it isn't an idea in our heads although we've made it that way but when we focus on it being the idea in our heads it means we have to meet a set of paradigm kind of conditions and then we're like well wait we met all the paradigm of conditions and where's the love it doesn't work like that it's the opposite of that it's being open to receiving that no matter what and yes it does coincide with moments with people you love or um, sitting somewhere beautiful and looking right but it's not only generated through a construct of circumstances it's generated through opening into yourself and allowing the feeling to permeate the external circumstances you can take love with you everywhere in every moment in everything you do and why am I telling you this today because I have the desire and the belief that there is so much more love available for you I don't know how I know and it's something I've always believed in for myself and others and I just keep opening to it and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and I'm like whoa this thing doesn't stop this thing doesn't quit this thing doesn't end uh, it's infinite it's bottomless it it's uh, has no um, <laughs> it has no edges the only edge in my experience with love is my ability and capacity to receive it transmit it it looks like I have really low signal here and I think that my broadcast might be cutting off so if that happens c'est la vie um, I'm just here to offer you more loving frequency um, and really I'm here to assist in removing the barriers to love and it's usually emotional anchors experiences memories frequencies we hold in ourselves because we're afraid to let go and we think that fear will protect us from being hurt being closed to love will protect us from being hurt but it, it doesn't it doesn't it just means you're walking wounded Oh, maybe I'm back. Okay, I think I better end this because it's getting really dodgy. But really, like when you're a walking wounded person, um, it's really that hurt that, darling, settle down, that hurts others when they get close to you because you're afraid to get hurt and your defenses are up. And, um, you know, I'm really in service to helping people release that, that they are holding inside of them. So if you're interested in that, if you want to reconnect more deeply with your own loving nature, um, I'm having a Thriving Aliveness online session Thursday the 4th of August. I'll put the link in the comments or you can just private message me if you want to know anything else about it. It is an emotional alchemy session and uh, I look forward to seeing you there if it interests you. Bye.